The F chord is typically the hardest chord for beginners to learn on the guitar. Whether you've been working on the four string F with three fingers or the full bar chord F, you might find that that's the one chord you're just having a hard time with and that can keep you from playing a lot of songs. So this video is here to show you a lot of options you have so that you don't have to stop working on a song just because it has an F chord. Of course, you should keep working on your more traditional F chords, but by the time this video is done, you're going to have a few different options to work on so you don't have to throw out a whole song from your repertoire just because you get to that one chord. So here it comes. A whole bunch of F options. I'm going to walk you through a whole bunch of options here, starting with the three treble strings, index finger barring the first two strings at the first fret, second finger reaching over, third string, second fret, and we're going to stop there. The three treble strings, that is an F chord. That's one way to play an F chord. It's everything you need for an F chord. It's a relatively small sound, but hey, it's there. Not very versatile. I don't use this one very much myself. What I do use quite a bit is a three finger F major chord focusing on the second string, third string, fourth string. Now my picking is limited to just those three strings, fourth, second, and third, but it's an easy grip, it feels good, has a little, has a little weight to it, and my fourth finger over here is available for a lot of things. Check this out. What a neat sound. Basically, I'm jumping up and down on the second string, third fret. In fact, the third fret is great for the fourth finger on any of the first three treble strings. I'm going to dance around a little bit with my fourth finger sometimes on the first string, third fret, sometimes the second string, sometimes the third string. I'm going to improvise for a minute. Watch this. strumming down and up with my pick there and dancing around. It's still an F major chord, but look at all those embellishments, little parties going on here, right? So there's a lot you can do with this kind of modest looking F chord and your pinky dancing around, okay? Improvise, make up something. Now, before we depart from this grip, you might have heard in there my open first string. There it is right there. If I include that note intentionally, I have an F major seven. Sometimes you can substitute the F major 7 right there for a standard F chord and it sounds great in a song. So don't rule out that possibility. When you see F in a song, try this out, the F major 7, sometimes it sounds great. Plan B could include leaning over your index finger just a little bit, deadening out that first string intentionally, which is kind of an advanced technique. If you do it intentionally, you're a pro. If you do it by mistake, you're a beginner. <laughs> um, but that frees up your strumming hand to strum a little more aggressively without worrying about hitting the first string because the first string is dead sounding anyways. Just an idea. Okay, moving on. A four finger F chord based on the second, third, fourth, second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. Now check it out. My index finger is where it just was. My middle finger is where it just was. But now my fourth finger, my pinky finger is taking over fourth string, third fret, and it's important, do it in this order, please, fifth string, third fret with my ring finger. Now I have a four string F chord because I have the fifth string involved. I have a little bass, right? I have a little oomph. It doesn't sound so thin anymore. I use this F all the time. Most of the time when I do it, I lean over my index just a little bit deaden the first string. See my thumb up here? I very lightly deaden the sixth string. And guess what? Now my strumming hand can just play in a kind of carefree way because the listener is only hearing the four strings I want them to hear. Again, my thumb is very lightly damping the sixth string and my index is very lightly damping out the first string. Can't tell you how often I use this F. Especially because, as you might know, F and C show up in a lot of songs together. Well, check it out. Here's my C major. Here's my F. C, F. You notice something? My first and third fingers here are just not moving at all. Not really. They certainly aren't lifting off of their strings because they're in the same place where I'm playing C or this four finger F. Okay, just a few more options. How you doing? You hanging in there? How about a two-finger F power chord. A 
okay? The two uh, bass strings. See that there? Two fingers. Index finger, sixth string, first fret. Ring finger, fifth string, third fret. And there's my F power chord. I'm limited to only strumming two strings, but that can be solved. I'm going to add my fourth finger, fourth string, third fret, and now I have an F power chord that involves three strings. Now, this way of playing F is great for songs where you want to have that, that kind of aggressive, thumpy kind of sound. You know, an F power chord, just another option. All right, so look what we did. I started you off on the three treble strings, uh, first, second, third strings. Then we moved over to the second, third, and fourth strings with a pinky dancing around. Uh, then we moved over to the four string, four finger, four string F on the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. And I ended up having you way over here on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, a three finger uh, power chord. Now, I use these all the time. I rarely do a full F bar chord. I just, I, you know, these are all workarounds. You don't have to master this chord, you know, in 24 hours. Having said that, of course, you should be as versatile as possible. So I do encourage you to keep working on the conventional four string F here with that little bar and the big F bar chord. But in the meantime, like I said at the beginning, when there's a song that has one F chord in there and that's the only chord holding you back, consider playing one of these alternatives. Okay? All right, everybody. There's a chance for you to, uh, to add some new tricks to your repertoire and, uh, and keep playing music. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, check out all the videos I have. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.